Welcome to Hokshi Gardens and Homestead. This is the day we've been waiting on and working for for about a month or so. Come and join us for the ride. cardboard down, had it down, double layers, it's ready to go. You know, you always gotta wet your cardboard down before you get started. But Heavenly Father took care of that for us with the rain he gave us last night. So now we got a good cool morning to get started and the rain hoes out and we'll get it done. Alright, it's working. Here's the birds out this morning. Love your things. I don't know if you can catch that on the camera or not, but the smoke is just coming up from this, so it's it's still a pretty hot compost. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to go get my thermometer and let's see just how hot it is. I know it is because I can smell it real good. Okay, so let's, let's see what we get here. Okay, well... I'm started. This is my second load, but just wanted to talk just for a second here about the compost, the temperature. It needs to be 140 degrees for it to sterilize and work properly. Uh, we just checked it and kind of toward the top and it's checking 135, but it's been raining last, well, since yesterday afternoon, since before we got it delivered. So that's kind of cooled down a little bit, but when we get down, we'll recheck it again because the temperature down toward the middle is gonna be way high because it's smoking like crazy. Anyway, gotta get back to work. I can't see. 
My glasses are fogging over. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fogging too. Coming up to 145. That's pretty good right there. That's what we want. What is it? 145. Okay, I just checked the uh, temperature again. Is at 145, which is excellent temperature. That's what we want because it's got to be 140 or above. Now we're spreading it out in a new area, but it's got time to cool because you don't want to put this high heat compost around plants and trees that you have growing right now. It'll burn. So, but this is our new spring garden that we're getting ready. And so by the time spring gets here, it's going to be good. So anyway, back to work. <coughs> Got a pretty good bit of it done. Yeah. Girls up under the tree getting ready to go check it out. Yeah, that's good because there's bugs and worms out here. Yep. Get all of it. Yep. That's not bad. It's only about 10 so far. <laughs> we got about 3,000 more to go. <laughs> I got it. How deep do you think you're getting it right there? It can vary right now because I really haven't leveled it out. But you work from 4 to 8 inches right now. Okay, good. Looking good, though. It is looking good. We'll have to come and Pull that cantaloupe. Yeah, it's gotta get out with it don't burn in. I don't know how. We'll mulch as close as you can to it. Yeah. You can't get all the way up to it. If we take it all the way down, then we can. Yeah. But I don't want this to go. No. Back up there. Try not to disturb it too much. Chilling in the garden. Always shut the door to keep what's in, in, and what's out, out. Don't want my girls out there getting hurt. Shoveling we will do, and the shoveling we will do. I hold it there, shoveling we will do. We will do it all day. We will do it all day. We'll do it until the job is completely done. Hello. It's looking good. <laughs> Coming along. Yep, it is. I see that smoke coming up, yeah. Yeah.
we put a lot of branches and mulch around our trees before we put this up, but you can see how he's pulling it away from that tree itself so that it's not actually touching the tree. And then the, the branches and leaves and the mulch that we put down around them will also help protect them. So is this the first day of fall? Uh, one second, yeah. First day of fall and it's a cloudy, overcast, cool day. I hope that's a good sign too. How's dwindling down? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to step back and show how much, not by much. All that you've put down and we still have this huge pile. Yeah. Yep. Yes, because we, besides that area, we have other areas. And we'll probably go across that area again with more. Then the mulch. <laughs> Hello everyone, just want to thank everybody for being here for the journey of this. I have completed it, took just right at 3 hours, started roughly at 7 a.m., finished just roughly at 10 a.m. If my granddaughter were here, was here, Caitlin, I'd have to be more precise. It was probably 7.01 and 9.53 time frame, <laughs> but she's not here, so we're going to go with 7 and 10. But uh, it was a... Uh, it was a good time. Yeah. Only took about 45,000 world barrels, but it was good. <laughs> I'm not sure how much we moved. Probably roughly around three, three and a half yards is what it took to do this. And then I did some over in the background over here. You can't really see, but I covered some back there also. But uh, it was good. It was good. And I'm tired. I'm going to set for a spell. Enjoy my beautiful wife's company drink a cup of coffee <laughs> now comes the time where we have to decide about mulch normally we put in wood chips which we've talked about but we've also talked about straw and um, I've also been hearing about hay now hay has uh, weed seeds mixed in with it because it just comes from a field but they're saying that if you do it thick and you fluff it the seeds cannot propagate and so we have to decide which one we're going to do um, yes. we had said we're going to do hay over here right. but uh, now we're learning different ways I had mentioned before that I'm taking a permaculture class a few things I'm learning from that number one I'm learning that we're doing so much right you know everything that we're doing is, <laughs> is right yes so that's a good thing for the course uh, another thing that I'm learning is there's so much more we could be doing so uh, and that's exciting so um, we will be doing a lot of different things this next year and one of the things is trying to decide what kind of mulch we're going to be putting I mean yeah mulch that we're going to be putting here on top of the compost yes, yes. Um, we have a little while to decide um, we're letting nature water this in, just yes. like we did with the boxes. Yeah. Although, when we put the cardboard down, we didn't know that, you know, the father was going to be so accommodating. <laughs> <laughs> he did good with us. Yeah, and um, and it's very overcast, and we're supposed to get more rain, so it'll water this in. Yes. And um, then later on, we can put the mulch on top once we decide which kind we're going to do. 
Yes. And uh, throughout the process, we did keep checking the temperature on uh, the compost. We still, when we first checked it and showed y'all, it was uh, 135. Checked again, it was 145. And then checked it again, it was 155. And so the, the further you get into the center of it, away from the wetness of it, the hotter it was. Because I can go over there right now and just put a shovel in and it's just steam, smoke just come up like crazy because it's still so hot. It will be. It'll be like that until it's all gone. It doesn't stop cooking until it's spread out and thinned out and ready to go to work. Then it calms down, cools down. Yep. And of course, we're not going to be using this garden until springtime. Yes. So it's got a lot of time to uh, work, cool down, and do what it is we're wanting it to do. Yes, do its job. And we kind of was trying to figure out what kind of our size our garden area was. Really don't have an accurate size, but probably somewhere around eight to 10,000 square feet is the size of our garden area, which is pretty good size, pretty good size. Yeah, well made us start thinking about that as we were watching Plant Abundance, and he mentioned how large his was, because we were wondering, compared to ours, how much room he had, because he's really somebody we're aspiring to be like. Yes, he's got a massive, awesome garden. Yes. And I love watching the shows and watching what he's doing. Yeah. They're really good. Really yes. good. Yes. So watch Dan on Plant Abundance. Yes. Uh, him and his wife are awesome. Yes. And not only do they give a lot of gardening tips, they give recipe tips because they eat from their garden yes, yes, <laughs> like yes. we do. They don't yes. grow just for show or to do a YouTube channel. They eat from their garden. Yes. And they give a lot of recipes. You know, his wife is, um, I believe she's from the Philippines. So she has that Asian flair to her cooking. And she can change up recipes depending on what they have growing. And They're so, good. We've tried them. They're yeah, good. we have tried yeah. several yes. of them yes. and uh, very good and gives you a lot of great techniques. So Yes, really appreciate them. Yes, yes. Great show to check in on. Yes. Plant abundance. <laughs> so, well, I guess that's it. That's it. Thank you for being with us. Hope you uh, like what you saw. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, tell your friends, and just keep coming back watching this because we're constantly doing new, new things. Yes. We thank you. And I hope that it inspires you to do this yourself at your yes. home. Yes, yes. And I hope you see how easy it really is. Um, you just you put down the cardboard, you mow, get your grass down as low as you can. You put down the cardboard. Now, we did ours two layers thick. Yeah. And then you put on the compost, and we did the compost thick. Yes, yes. Um, how thick do you think? I think I ended up, let's see, uh, yesterday when I first started, it's four to eight inches. It's probably good 10 inches right now. So, so it's, it's good and thick. Yes, and you want your uh, compost to be thick because that's really going to be your growing medium Yes. Uh, come springtime or, or whenever. And then you put on the mulch and then you just let nature take its course. Yes, so yes. it's really an easy style of gardening and anybody and everybody can do it. We always say that if we can do it, anybody can do it. Me and my sister-in-law, Yvonne, that's our saying. You know, if we can do it, anybody can. So I hope that it inspires you to do this at your home. Grow some of your own food so that you have some nutritious food to feed your family and yourself. Yes. Because your body is your temple. And whatever you put into it, that's what you're going to get out. We wonder why there's so much sickness in the world especially in the United States. Yes, yes, yes. And I think it's because of our food. Yep. We don't have any nutrition in our food anymore. And um, well they embalm our food. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> they they take, they take all the natural out and then they put in preservatives. They embalm it. Yeah. And so pretty much when you die, you don't have to be embalmed, you already are. <laughs> Randy Stonehill has a song about that. When you die, you don't have to be embalmed. They've already done it for you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I love that guy. He has some really funny songs. But yeah, it's it's fun. And before we, before we end, we do what we call a no dig garden. Mm -hmm. We don't dig our ground at all. We build up, and then the cardboard when it uh, decomposes and the worms come up, then it all becomes one soil. We can plant potatoes over here, with big roots, and they'll just go right on into it. And it's great. I Which love we it. will be sweet potatoes. Yeah. I will be planting sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That wraps it up. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Yes.
Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. <laughs>